And he's gonna show us how it's done on the big boys. And a skip jack. And a skip jack. Same thing as cleaning a big tuna. Yeah, we had hoped to do it. We had hoped to have a nice sized tuna to do. Um, but uh, we, we couldn't get any tuna. We've got a smaller one and according to the master here, you know, you could do it with a small one, you can do it with a big one. So Without further ado, yeah. this is a local fish. No this import. is a bluefin trevally. We usually catch them off the reefs out front here. <laughs> it's Spitz Beijing. Yep. Not anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, the speaking days are over now. Yep. And when you when you see them live and right out of the water, they're Beautiful. electric, shocking blue. This is. Um, what happened to his head? Been on ice, bro. It looks like you got a gap through the head. Gaff that little thing. <laughs> Where's Earl? Oh First thing God. I do when I run Where's a flight of fish is I start up here by the head and just go right down. Can you keep it down? Video? To the tail. Videoing. And I come along this way. <coughs> I like the knife he's using. Notice you don't need a big fancy special fish fillet knife to pull this off. This just got to be sharp. It's got to be sharp. One thing that I do is I don't take the throat out until the end. The throat part of the fish to me is one of the better pieces. As far as eating. Oh, yeah, yeah, for taste wise. Taste wise. Okay, pop us through it there. Really? All right. you, should you move back. <laughs> now, you, you want your knife to run right down the edge of the backbone. And you want to keep your fingers away from it. Because that knife is sharp. Mm -hmm. Pretty sharp. Are you getting that baby? Well, I want to have a pee and I want to Another eat. thing that's very, that a lot of people do is whenever they get to the the belly section, they use their knife to cut the bones, and all it does is dull your knife. A pair of garden shears. Ah, <laughs> arr, arr, arr. Arr. Garden shears. Don't dull your knife on the bones. That's a good idea. Bust out the garden dull your shears. Knife on the bones. <laughs> Just uh, cut oleander first. <laughs> so what are you cutting in there? I'm cutting the, cutting the uh, rib bone. Uh, whenever you get to the backbone, you have to angle your knife a little different to, to let it turn it loose, turn the meat loose from the backbone. Flip him around. And practice is always the key to success. I have cleaned a few fish. They have a tough tail. You might need your shears on. Yep. That's a scoot. Yeah. Much better. Oh shit, I was filming your groin there looking at the face. <laughs> Hey, when she does that. It's just, just like when you're taking notes off. <laughs> All right. That should come right off. Hey, Donna, Pretty are close. you this down? Yes, mate. Because it would probably be a while before you actually catch it. <laughs> yeah, that fucker. We brought him along. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That one is pretty good. Look at how close that shade there. You don't want to leave much meat on the bone, no. as they say. Mike, give us a smile. <laughs> Now here's one problem that ev everybody has. You see how the fish is laying his head? You got that fillet off. Now this fish is laying not right. So to make it easier, you can cut the head off. Some fish I do, some I don't. Just they to get it to lay flat. Yeah, so where it lay lays flat. nicely, huh? Here's how it lays. So you can see how it lays flat. Yep. It makes it 
much easier. So I'm going to move to this end of the table. Well, if you slip, you'll cut off my gonads. Well, if you get close, <laughs> Dino, you know, you get too close. Mm -hmm. Start back up here again, do the same thing you did to the other side. This is why I sell it. <clears throat> You don't have to go very deep, you just want to cut the skin loose so you can get on it with your fillet knife. <laughs> I would never even know. Neither would Donna. Oh, he would notice. <laughs> yeah. It was a comedian, eh? Mm. Oh, he's not slicing it. Time for a new set of those. How's my hair? Yeah. 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 You can see I'm right down to the backbone or to the ribs. Rosie's joined after this. You're going to get hard cock and bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bubble gum there. <laughs> Hello, Dino. That should be the last of that one. Look, it's still taking back. Yeah. You can leave me. I got to see the skin. That's what I want to do. Sorry, I'm not. All right, there's. <laughs> Let it go. You're gonna the next one, okay? Now to take the throat out, you're gonna definitely need the okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Cut your cheeks out. I can if you'd like for that demonstration. Not the throat. Oh, yeah. And the throat is actually good to eat. Oh, absolutely. What part of the fish do they use for uh, coconut? The fillet. The, the white meat. Yeah. Now the throat, a lot of fish you can you probably have to use a small knife. Oh, I don't want to get in your way of that. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
here? He's cleaning the throat. This is the best part. I didn't know you could even eat the throat. Oh, it's absolutely the best. Oh, oh, zombies eat the throat. <laughs> Sometimes that, sometime that skin will peel right off. This one's not doing it. Uh -huh. <laughs> is, uh, is the throat always your favorite part of food? any fish? You know, you fish this one? size, it's worth you taking. cut your thumb? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that cleans fish will cut themselves eventually. It will happen. <laughs> We've got the time. Oh, yeah, there you go. Make me nervous, Daniel. Too close. It's a little tough to cook to do, but what, what I do at this point is cut it in half. So it'll fry up good. It's good in fish soup. Fascinating. He is. gonna do the mix. It's <laughs> yeah. No. It would not. It would not feel good. <laughs> I'm not used to that. So I mean, you probably like done something. Exactly. Now, did you catch this, Ben? No, Earl did. That's Earl the thing. Did. If I caught that, I'd keep it. Let if somebody go. needs to take this home in the next fish let and it cook it. Where's Earl? I don't know, let that, that thing go. What is that? Where's Earl? Alright. This is this that was is a lot of work should, for that. I know. This is what whenever you look at it through the light, you yeah. should be able to see all the ribs, everything. Yeah. You don't want to leave much for the cat. Nicely done. Oh, it up again. Oh, yeah, there you go. Can you get the light behind it? Oh, he's demonstrating? Yeah, so is this Come like over the, here, Tara. Tara. <laughs> That's our twisted leader. Excuse me, I have to take these fillets to make sure they're not oh, poisonous. Oh, they're going to be skin no, <laughs> i got to make sure they're not poisonous. If you, if you want to uh, take the cheek out, you enter, there's a hard bone right here. This is kind of a small fish to do this. Small eye. Yeah, the walleye cheeks are yeah. yeah. so many people feel it about the cheeks. So I'm going to rub this on my face and see right down the line. What is it about the cheeks that's so good? It's killing me. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You don't think it's the same voice? The bigger fish, it's easier. Yeah, yeah. it is a lot easier. Yeah. And that should just peel right off. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm going to do on this one. Yeah. We need to come back. Yeah. You want to put him in there? Wait, he's got a skin, though.